Hello everyone, Dr. Friend here. To get more information about health, subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about what you should eat to keep your kidneys healthy and last longer. Kidney is an organ which is situated in your tummy, one on the right side, one on the left side. If you see the function of the kidney, it purifies your blood. That means it will retain or reabsorb the good things and it will remove the waste or toxin in the form of urine. So it will keep your blood clean. Nutrition to your kidney is very important because if you see the liver, if it is damaged, it will repair very easily. Whereas if you see kidney or brain, these organs will not repair so easily or will not regrow easily. So it is very important for you to have a good nutrition, balanced nutrition for well functioning of your kidney and to last it longer. Today in this video, I am going to debust a very big myth about the kidney. Many people have seen whenever they have kidney problem, they will stop taking proteins, they will stop salts, they will stop taking water. This is not same for everyone. Every stage of kidney disease has different nutrition. In this video, we will go step by step. We will see what are the reasons responsible for your kidney problem. Second thing, we will see what are the stages of your kidney problem and what nutrition you have to give in each stage. Let's see what are the causes, what are the reasons responsible for problem, chronic renal disease or damage to your kidney. Number one, blood vessels. These are also called as microcirculation. That means the blood vessels which are carrying blood to your kidney. If it is damaged, then you will have kidney problem. The main reason for damage to these blood vessels are diabetes and hypertension. Diabetes, this will form a block. This will obstruct the blood flow. Your kidney will get damaged. Hypertension, high BP, this will make your artery stiff. So the blood will not flow properly to your kidney. So your kidney will get damage. So if you see the reason for hypertension, that is high blood pressure or diabetes, the main reason is high blood sugars. Maybe direct sugars or carbohydrates, what you are taking, these are damaging your micro vessels. So restrict the carbohydrates as much as possible. The second reason for your kidney damage is infections or autoimmune. This is also called as glomerulonephritis. In this, if you see the root cause, again, high blood sugars, these are responsible for recurrent infections or autoimmune disease. The third most common reason for your kidney damage is medications, especially the painkillers, NSAIDs. The medication what you are taking, this is damaging your kidney. These three are most common reasons why your kidney is getting damaged. There are several, there are several other reasons, but these are most common reasons why your kidney is getting damage. Keep in mind, high blood sugars is damaging your kidney. Many people in my videos, they write, I have normal blood sugars, even then I'm having problem. A condition called insulin resistance. I have made a video on insulin resistance. I have given a link below. Just check it. Insulin resistance is a condition in which your blood sugars will be normal. Even then, the sugars what you are taking is slowly damaging your organs. Next, the second thing you should know before your nutrition is stage of your kidney damage. That means chronic renal disease or problem of a kidney disease since long time, two years, three years has been divided into five stages. This is depending upon EGFR. This is very simple. If you go to any good lab, if you do your renal function test, there is one thing called GFR. That means glomerular filtration rate. That means filtering or purifying capacity of your kidney. You should know in which stage your kidney is functioning. This is because each stage the nutrition is different. So depending upon the value of GFR, you are depending upon your filtration capacity of your kidney, how well it is filtering, your kidney disease has been divided into five stages. Stage one is almost normal, means your filtration capacity is more than 90. If you have GFR value more than 90, that is stage one, that is you have normal functioning kidney. For you, no need to worry. Whatever you are eating, eat that and enjoy your life. If you have obesity, diabetes or hypertension, reduce your carbohydrates. I have given you a link below for intermittent fasting. Start your intermittent fasting, your blood sugars, your hypertension, your obesity will come down and also restrict carbohydrates, sugars. Coming to stage two, in this, the GFR value is less than 90, but more than 60, between 90 to 60. Here, many times you will not have symptoms. You will not show any symptoms, but slowly the damage has been started. In stage two, nothing complicated you have to do. Very simple, just restrict carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, not more than 100 grams per day. Second thing, moderate amount of protein. I have seen many people, once their GFR is less than 90, they will stop taking proteins. This is wrong. 
for your any tissue or any organ to heal you need protein you need moderate amount of protein that means 150 to 200 grams of protein per day is required for your kidney to heal so you should take low carbohydrates moderate amount of protein that is 150 to 200 milligrams of protein third thing you should include one or two bowls of vegetables green vegetables the fourth thing is nuts you should include almonds pistachio pecans the fifth thing is you should do exercise either walking either running gym whatever you want depending upon your time and convenient just do it stage 3 and stage 4 this is very important i will tell you the nutrition today this for people who are in the stage of 3 and stage 4 if your gfr goes below 60 but above 30 that is between 30 to 60 it is stage 3 if it is below 30 above 15 that is between 15 to 30 it is stage 4 the nutrition for you is very important because your kidney is not working properly that means the main important function of kidney is to maintain balance of sodium potassium nitrogen and phosphorus nitrogen is the end product of protein so your kidney is not going to maintain a balance so you should provide a nutrition with adequate balance of sodium potassium and phosphorus in this stage you have to restrict carbohydrates you have to restrict protein intake also protein intake 60 to 80 grams not more than that because kidney will start retaining nitrogen now i will tell you the food items which you should eat for balance electrolytes also to purify to clean your kidneys number one apple it has sodium potassium and phosphorus the disadvantage of apple is it has sugars if you are obese if you are having hypertension or if you are having diabetes this will make more damage the best replacement the second food is bell peppers this is also called as capsicum this is available in green yellow red you can include combination or any one of them this is an excellent replacement for apple it has balanced electrolytes you can see the values of electrolytes i have given sodium potassium and phosphorus so you can take two times three times a day this will clean your kidneys also maintains electrolyte balance number three raspberries i have given sodium potassium and phosphorus value this is also an excellent fruit you can include two times or three times eight to ten raspberries every day this will clean your kidneys also maintains electrolyte balance maintenance of electrolyte balance especially the potassium is very important your heart is very sensitive to imbalance of electrolyte your heart may develop arrhythmias that means improper electrical activity in your heart that leads to heart block so maintenance of electrolyte balance is very important coming to the fourth food item cabbage cabbage it's a good source of sodium potassium phosphorus everything has in balance so you can include two times or three times a day you can take raw or cooked cabbage or you can take in the form of juice number five cauliflower even it has good balance of sodium potassium and phosphorus you can include two times or three times a day definitely this is going to help you number six green leaf lettuce this you have to include two times or three times even it has good balance of sodium potassium and phosphorus so you should include green leaf lettuce number seven onions even these are good source of electrolytes you can eat it raw or cook with cabbage or cauliflower number eight eggs you can take two to three eggs every day this has a very good balance of sodium potassium and phosphorus it's a complete nutrition it will provide complete nutrition this you can include in your first meal two or three eggs per day definitely going to help you number nine meat chicken or fish as i told you in the stage three or stage four you have to include chicken or meat or fish but 60 to 80 gram per day not more than this this 60 to 80 gram is required for your kidney to heal number 10 very simple and it is easily available everywhere that is garlic ginger and turmeric so include garlic ginger and this turmeric in cooking like if you are cooking cabbage or if you are cooking cauliflower include this ginger garlic and turmeric definitely this is going to maintain a balance detoxify your kidney so guys people with stage 3 and stage 4 you have to include these food items in combination in your diet so that you are going to clean your kidney and maintain electrolyte balance stage 5 stage 5 is your gfr is below 15 that means it is very low so you should be under nephrologist they have two options either they have to go for dialysis a machine that will purify your blood number two you have to go for renal transplant that means kidney transplantation so guys you should be very careful you should be admitted you should be under nephrologist guys the take home message for you is just knowing that you have kidney problem just don't stop electrolytes water and proteins proteins are required for your kidney to heal 
So guys, first thing you should do is know your stage, like which stage your kidney is functioning just by doing EGFR. Once you know the stage, depending upon the stage, you have to include the nutrition and advice what I have told you in this video. Definitely your kidney will stay healthy for longer and you will maintain electrolyte balance. And guys, if you need any other information, write in my comment box. If you find my video informative, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.